Good morning, guys. Welcome back or to the channel in today's video. Um, we're actually doing some moving. So, um, I don't know if y'all can see my grandpa up there. I don't know. Maybe. Um, he's got some conduit. Got some wire. Um, we have a buddy who's an electrician. He's going to come and wire up some 220 in the powder coat shop. Um, so, we actually have some conduit, a bunch of fittings, and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, and the right thickness wire that he told us we needed to have. Um, so we're going to take all that up there and he is going to wire it. He told us if you want it in conduit, you put it in conduit and everything. Um, so what we're going to do before he gets here is we're just going to kind of do all the conduit stuff and then he is going to hook it up and all that stuff. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to be moving is the ovens so uh we have this smaller oven uh for powder coat and then we have that oven there um for powder coat so we've been talking about moving these up there for a while um so we're gonna go ahead and do that but <clears throat> anyway we gotta run we need to get one of these um receptacles, plug-ins, whatever you want to call it, um, that matches the plugs that we have on these. So all of our 220 stuff, and it'd also be nice, because um, if we knew to, we could carry the welder up there and run it. Same thing with my Lincoln over here. It's got the same plug-in. Um, so my Lincoln 180 HD that I have here has the same plug-in. Uh, it's back there. But anyway, it's all it's all the same. So we could take this up there if we need to. We could take the old Lincoln up there if we need to. And this is the plug that uh, everything has on it. So like I said, we're going to get that up there this up there uh these racks up there and uh these cup stands so and <laughs> what kind of inspired this is we're gonna do some cups <laughs> so a lady that my grandpa's girlfriend does some uh, cleaning stuff for and that kind of thing was talking about the other day she likes the color gold. Um, she's an older lady. Seems to be a nice lady. I've never met her, but from, uh, you know, how they talk about her and whatnot, she seems to be a really nice lady. Um, and she's always working on little projects, stuff like that. Um, and they had mentioned the, our powder coating to her. And uh, I thought it would be a good thing to powder coat her a cup in gold and just give it to her. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna do my sister a tumbler, not a cup, a tumbler, but I'm gonna do my sister one. Um, we're going to do my new sister, Jess. We're gonna do her one. Um, I think there's somebody else I wanna do one for, but I don't remember, we'll, we'll do that later. Uh, but so it's kind of what inspired this whole thing for today. That way we don't have to powder coat in here anymore. Um, we don't have to drag everything from there to here and all this stuff. So anyway, um, I'm going to go up here, help him. We're going to figure out where we want to put this. And uh, we also need to go, like I said, we need to get a plug in. So anyway, we're going to do that. And uh, well, I guess I will catch y'all when we get back. Also, guys, I've been meaning to mention this. I think I mentioned it in, in one video. I don't remember. Anyway, um, I think it was in the little blaster video. I'm going to put this clip in both videos. I hadn't finished that video yet. Um, and we're working on another video with the ovens and stuff. But I'm going to put this clip in both videos because uh, those aren't edited. Um, and I want you all to let me know. So, with the powder coating... I, I understand 
a lot of y'all don't care about the powder coat um, this is more of an automotive channel now if I have powder coat content on my stuff yeah I'll probably post it here but do you want to see a second channel for all of the powder coat stuff uh, drop a comment right now come on let me know um, I'll even give you a second to go ahead and do that but um, yeah like I said get on there in the comments let me know um, if y'all would rather see a second channel for that kind of stuff um, sandblasting powder coat the business stuff because uh, I do want to make that a business this year so that's something I've kind of been working on um, and trying to figure out so anyway like I said y'all let me know down in the comments but anyway let's get back to the video all right so there we have it um, now this thing we might I don't know we might just put it uh, in the storage building down there um, I mean we don't really use it uh, I've used it a handful of times uh, but the bad thing about this thing is it takes forever to come up to temp um, as there's only a burner on the bottom and that serves another issue is um, stuff when you're powder coating it if something's very tall it gets real hot on the bottom and doesn't get the temp on the top which is a bad thing uh, that's how we scorched a mailbox um, in this thing before we had the big oven um, so like I said now that we have the big oven we don't really use it um, same thing with that one but it is nice for uh, like tumblers and stuff like that um, there's no need in heating that oven up for a 30 ounce tumbler it just doesn't make sense um, but like I said this thing we might just put in storage I don't know we'll figure it out but this thing is nice to have up here so uh, anyway we're gonna go ahead uh, do a few things and uh, we'll get those tumblers done okay so um, we got that decal shipped off all ago and well as you can see this is kind of escalated the original idea was to do three um, <laughs> well now we got five uh, so all these were just given to people um, and playing with colors so we have orange madness candy gold um, some sort of eastwood pink I don't I don't really know what it is uh, eastwood yellow octane blue and shattered glass this shattered glass will be going over these three so um, anyway so we're doing uh, orange for our good buddy Eddie. Um, Eddie's been a big help. So I had this orange that kind of matches his Chevelle um, that he restored. So figured we would do one for him. So I figured he would enjoy that. Um, the lady that my grandpa's girlfriend works with, we're going to do her in candy gold. Um, my sister, my new sister, um, my grandpa's girlfriend's daughter in this one. So, um, anyway, and like I said, doing shatter glass over all these, um, for Jordans and Jess's, we're doing those, uh, with alternating decals. So this one will have a yellow decal. This one will have a blue decal. I think that'll look cool. And then, uh, I got to figure out what color I want to do a decal for this one. So anyway, um, like I said, we're just giving these out to people. Um, well, this is the reason why I bought a big box of tumblers. Um, and most of them are gone. <laughs> so this is what I got left. Probably need to order another round of these at some point. Uh, these come from Maker, Maker Flow Crafts. Um, I do like these individually boxed. So that kind of kind of simplifies things um, you gotta worry about scratching them and getting them to the people and whatnot and they come with really nice lids um, they're also wrapped in plastic they come with a straw and uh, 
these lids that you can close off and open. So pretty nice. Um, and these are the smooth curve. Um, so I kind of like these for powder. A um, little more difficult if you're going to do a fade because they don't have a hard line on them like the Yetis and you know stuff like that. But anyway, <laughs> as someone's hiding from the camera here, uh, we're going to get these all wiped down and uh, go ahead and get started. We'll probably start with these two because uh, these don't require a top coat. Uh, so we'll get those two done and out of the way. And then um, we'll get, I don't know how we're going to do this. I think what we're going to have to is uh, just swap from color to color and uh, do everything. Because I like to spray this hot because you can layer in the effect. So we'll figure it out. And, uh, well, we'll go ahead and get these sprayed in. Okay, so Orange Madness first. It's in the oven. I'm going to temp it again here in just a second. Um, like I said, uh, this will be next. <laughs> I accidentally flashed my uh, address because on these older bags, Prismatic put them on the label, but uh, Candy Gold will be next. Um, the reason I didn't put both of them in the oven at the same time, this is a 350 cure, whereas I believe that is a 400 cure. Um, that's one of the old prismatic bags, so I'll have to look it up real quick. But uh, anyway, I'm going to take a look. I need to tempt this guy again anyway. So, there is that. I love that color. It's a beautiful color. So about 320. We'll let it get to 350 and set a 15-minute, uh, I believe. Let's check it out. But... Yeah, 15 at 350. Um, if anybody wants this color, there you go. Um, but like I said, I want to do the singles first. And then in here, that blue box right there, I have another Eastwood. So what I'm going to do instead of, it's an older Eastwood, but it's still a dual voltage. So instead of, you know, every color switching back between color and shattered glass, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have color in this gun and then shattered glass in the other. Uh, this one seems to be a lot nicer unit than the other one. Um, but we're spraying shattered glass hot, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and like I said, I like doing shattered glass hot because you can layer in the effect. And you can you can see, you know, make sure you're not super heavy here and light here or whatever. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to let that come up to temp. I'll go ahead and set a timer, and I have uh, like uh, Instagram reels, TikTok, Facebook reels, uh, YouTube shorts, um, style of filming, which is like this, that uh, I'll go ahead and throw up for every one of these, and then we'll check them out when they're all finished. Okay, so the Orange Madness Tumblr's out. Now, if you're wondering what the texture look is all about, that's actually the grain of the tumbler. Um, I thought that'd be kind of a cool effect to leave in there. Um, but to get rid of that, uh, just a heavier coat, and that would have been fine. Uh, now, we have candy gold in here. Um, so, I just put it in, tempted a second ago, it was at 300 degrees. So... Uh, it's got to come up to temp, um, and then after that, we will pull it out as well. Let them both cool before we start on the other colors. Or, I guess we could go ahead and start on that while that's curing. Um, we'll see. We'll figure it out. But anyway, I'll let that one get to 400. Um, I believe I need to check cure schedule. And uh, go ahead and get it finished up.
All right, so now we're uh, now that all the cups are done um, here in the office. Now I've got the orange one there. Uh, I measured it out. It's like two and a half or so inches tall um, by about four inch for uh, what we want to do. Um, now I'm not going to cut this one rather, but. If you haven't subscribed already, get down there, hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Uh, but anyway, we have white, yellow, ice blue, and black. This black is actually really nice. Um, so also, if you need decals, hit me up. But uh, anyway, I've had this roll of yellow for a while, but um, it's a little messed up on this side, but uh, if I unroll it, uh, in here is nice so we'll do that but um, anyway I think I got everybody's name correct <laughs> um, the white I'm gonna do one decal in uh, so for the orange one actually uh, Mr. Eddie his Chevelle uh, is orange with white stripes and it's a SS396 car so I figured um, I might go ahead, cut him, you know, an SS little badge and put on there. Uh, now, I don't sell these. I don't remake these. This is just a gift for a friend, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but if any GM executives are watching, no, I do not make these. I do not sell these. This is just for a friend. Um, so, anyway, like I said, it's just going to be a surprise for him. He knows nothing about these. Um, so, like I said, I mean, I don't, I'm not making these and reselling them. It's just a gift for a friend that's helped me with a lot of different stuff. Uh, but we're going to do that for his. Um, Jordan and Jess, theirs are going to match each other. Uh, so Jess's is yellow. Uh, so we're going to do uh, Jordan's name in yellow for her blue cup and this blue for Jess's cup. And then um, an M for this one. So anyway, all right, this is we're doing an M and an R. The R is going on the pink cup, and the M is going on the gold cup. Um, so anyway, I actually have this really nice font that I purchased a while ago. Um, so this font, I love this font. Um, super super nice font, but. Anyway, I'm going to get all these sized up, uh, get the machine loaded here. As you can see, I had some chrome loaded in there uh, from that one that I made last night. Uh, but we'll get the machine loaded and uh, get these cut. All right. So here we have all of them. Now, again, this one, I do not make these. This is a one-time thing for a family friend. Um, and again, I think he'll be super, super happy. It looks crooked to me in person. I don't know why, but I measured them out. Uh, it's perfectly like dead on exact. Um, but I don't know. If that looks crooked to y'all, it does to me too. Uh, don't worry about it. Now, um, I am gonna take something on the insides of these, clean that up. Theoretically, it would probably be fine. Um, you know, it's cured onto it. And these are, you know, um, brushed on the inside. So again, I mean, theoretically it should be fine, but I'll take something around some of these and uh, just kind of clean these edges up. This one was really, really nice. Uh, turned out really good. Um, we'll need minimal cleaning. This one turned out pretty good. A little couple of bleeds here. But, like I said, this one will need a little bit of cleaning. Nothing too terribly bad. Uh, this one, a little more, uh, but still not terrible. This one, I don't know what's the deal with this one. This one is, like, nearly perfect. Um, so, anyway, like I said, I'm going to take something, clean these up. And um, I need to tell Jordan, my sister, not to, I'm going to, 
tell her how to clean these and everything uh, like three times because Jordan doesn't pay attention real well all the time but um, anyway there they are let me turn the flash on on the camera and uh, we will take a look at these all right so I mean, you can see that effect don't mind the fingerprints there are some fingerprints on them I literally just pulled the transfer tape off the decals um, this color shows better on camera than these two do uh, but in person they're all pretty even this one does have just a little bit more but <laughs> again like i was saying dogs barking at the neighbor's kid um in, in there but anyway uh, like i said this one really nice metallic effect this one is too but it's bright yellow so you don't really notice it and the camera does a horrible job of picking it up this one shows amazingly uh, especially on camera um, then we have candy gold candy gold does have some flake to it which looks beautiful uh, especially with that black M I do like that um, and then this one this one there you go kind of shows the gold uh, this got like some gold flake to it um, which is beautiful but anyway like I said I'm gonna do some cleaning on these and um go ahead and get them to everybody so i mean like i said we're making nothing off of these um but these two i wanted to give for their birthday uh jess's birthday is on my mom's birthday jordan's birthday is like a week later um which is like a month and a half away but i want to go ahead and get them to them because uh, i think they'll enjoy them uh these two we told her we made her daughter one she really liked it um, and the daughter really liked hers. Uh, we did it actually the exact same as Jordan's here. Um, but we did her one for Christmas cause she wanted one and, uh, she really liked it. And the mom, my grandpa's girlfriend's daughter, she wanted one in pink. So we finally did her one. Um, uh, this lady here, Miss Mamie did her one just as a, surprise um and wanted to kind of tell her about some more powder coat stuff because she does she does a lot of things like i said she seems like a really cool uh, really cool really nice lady so um and then mr eddie y'all know like i said he's helped me with tons of stuff helped me paint the white truck helped me paint the hyundai um lots of lots of knowledge so figured i would give him this one because uh, it's orange is really close to his Chevelle um, it's a 69 or 70 Chevelle SS 396 original car um, so like I said his car is orange with white stripes so I figured this would be pretty nice to give to him but anyway I just thought this would be cool to kind of show five cups today um, we did redo this one uh, so there's another one out there. It, I don't know what it did, but we went ahead and just did another one because I didn't want to put out anything that I wouldn't want personally. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do some cleaning up here, throw some stuff away, and uh, I guess that's going to be a wrap for this one. All right, so it's the next day, uh, and we're supposed to get like hail and all kind of stuff. Uh, so last night, put the 6-0 in here at like midnight. Um maybe a little later than that but uh anyway thought i would show y'all we are making room in here and it's amazing so i gotta get this thing back out run to greenbrier uh the 300 is in the house garage but i would much rather drive the 60 I'd much rather drive the 6.0, so uh, here we are. But, um, I mean, like I said, we are most definitely making room. I'm not going to show you all my door code. Um, ooh, it's not good. Anyway, um, we're most definitely making room, so that is a plus. I'll get the truck out of here, and I will show you all kind of what I'm talking about. But... Let's give this thing a little cold start. Um, not really cold, but 
hadn't ran today cold how about that so i'm gonna get this out of here and i'll kind of show y'all uh what i'm talking about so as i was saying um we are most definitely making room in here was that so be a little quieter most definitely making room um i mean the 6.0 fits in here like real easy now so when uh we start taking stuff back out of here like the lawnmower old refrigerator these boxes um and whatnot we will most definitely have a lot more room but anyway i'm gonna run the green mirror real quick and i'll catch y'all when we get back all right so <laughs> you here my my 747 spooling down which is still going <laughs> uh, we made it back just in time um just as you can see on the bed cover it just started raining <laughs> um and i don't like pulling wet vehicles in here but anyway um the 60 interesting thing about the 60 I don't know if it needs a retune or a transmission relearn. be windy here <laughs> um but anyway with i got saying with 60 um i don't know if transmission needs a relearn or the truck needs a retune probably could really use a retune um it's tuned for 35s on a 20 inch wheel or 33s on a 20 inch wheel rather and uh well now it's got 24s and 35s so so it is very possible that um, it could just need a retune. So I'm going to hit up Matt, my man Matt, over at Blessed Performance and uh, kind of ask him. Matter of fact, it's tuned for these um, Platinum 20s, stock Platinum 20s off of 2016. And those 35, or I don't know why I keep saying 35, 33. 1250 Maxis uh, ATs. Um, but like I said, I'll hit him up and ask him about that. Um, if you're wondering, why are you sweating? It is, uh, it's very humid now. Um, it's only like 80 degrees, but it's very humid. Especially, it has been all day, but now that it's trying to rain and not raining and trying to rain and not raining, uh, humidity went through the roof. Um, but anyway i'm gonna ask him about that i mean if the transmission's on its way out it can't really fault the truck um it's a tuned 60 with 266,000 miles on it i think or right at 266 um so kind of kind of to be expected uh but i'll send matt a message and see what he says about that at some point i want to put a fresh built transmission in that truck um head stud it turbo injectors maybe injectors um and have like a 600 horsepower 60 i think that'd be pretty cool for a daily um be pretty fun but anyway um who, who knows maybe more horsepower um but i would like to do that at some point with that truck but um lifting the cab and all that stuff's a bit tough when you don't have a lift so that's kind of uh you know that's kind of one of those things but anyway um i got the 300 video coming for y'all tomorrow look or not tomorrow i've already filmed it it'll be the next video um a little bit different kind of talk about some stuff um as far as this in here uh the car a discount code for y'all um y'all probably have already seen it but um and i'm saying this because i'm i've got like six videos to edit so um kind of 
kind of fell behind on editing, but I'll get those edited and uh, all ready. And that video that I'm talking about, uh, the colder intake video, hadn't even, I haven't even made that yet. Haven't got the intake in yet. Uh, it's currently sitting in Conway at UPS. So, um, anyway, like I said, 300 video will be the next video unless uh, I have something else that comes up and I need to move videos around. Uh, but anyway, guys, I think that's going to be a wrap for this one. So if y'all enjoyed today's video or find it helpful, please drop a like and comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. And I hope everybody has a great day. Well, now, <laughs> I literally just finished this video. I come in here, got a bottle of water, and if you hear that hitting the windows, that hail. Lots of it. <laughs> Uh, there's a piece that actually fell in here on my foot, but um, anyway, those are getting those are getting kind of large. So it is a good thing we put uh, the 300 up in the six off. I really wish you could have put the white truck up, but I guess it is what it is.